Welcome back to a Clan A Day podcast brought to you by BagtownClans.com. I'm your host Colin McDonald and today we're exploring the legacy of Clan Davidson, a Highland clan deeply woven in Scottish history and the powerful confederation of Clan Chatton. Though the name Davidson may sound anglicised, the clan's roots are pure Gaelic, originating from the warriors of the Scottish Highlands. So settle in as we dive into the tale of Clan Davidson from its earliest days in Badenoch to the present. Clan Davidson, or Clan Dai in Gaelic, is traditionally linked to David Doop of Invernahaven, a prominent figure in the 14th century whose marriage into the Macintosh family solidified Clan Davidson's place within the Clan Chatan Confederation. This alliance through David Doob's union with Slain Macintosh, daughter of the Macintosh chief, made Clan Davidson one of the earliest allies in Clan Chatan. And while there are competing theories on the Davidson lineage, one account suggests they descend from Gilly Catton Moore, a chieftain of Clan Chatan in the 11th or 12th century. Another posits that they are descendants of David Doob, a figure tied to Clan Common, adding a touch of mystery to their origins. The clan's storied rivalry with Clan Macpherson came to a head in the Battle of Invernahaven around 1370. This conflict was a defining moment, not just for Clan Davidson, but for Clan Chatton as a whole. The Davidsons and Macphersons both claimed the honour of leading Clan Chatton's right wing in the battle against Clan Cameron. Macintosh, head of Clan Chatton, ultimately granted the position to Davidson, which led the Macphersons to withdraw from the field in protest. Without the full might of Clan Chatton, the Camerons gained an early advantage, inflicting heavy losses on the Davidsons. Eventually, however, the Macphersons returned, turning the tide against the Camerons. This battle etched the Davidsons into the annals of Highland history, though it came at a high cost. The clan's fighting strength was severely depleted. The Davidsons would soon find themselves embroiled in another legendary clash, the Battle of the North Inch of Perth in 1396, a government-sanctioned combat between two rival Highland factions. While historical records vary on who exactly fought, Many believe the battle stemmed from lingering tensions between the Davidsons and Macphersons following Invernahaven. Some lowland sources referred to the Davidsons as Clan K, which may have been a misunderstanding of their Gaelic name, Clan Dai. Despite these conflicts, Clan Davidson endured, and as the 15th century closed, Davidson families spread from Ayrshire in the south to Aberdeen in the north. By the 17th century, the clan had established itself in Cromarty, where they built a lasting presence. The Davidsons of Tullock, in particular, rose to prominence as lairds of Tullock Castle in Rossshire. This castle would remain the Davidson clan seat until 1917 and stands today as a symbol of their heritage. One of the clan's most notable relics is a suit of armour displayed in Aberdeen, believed to have belonged to Sir Robert Davidson, a provost of Aberdeen who heroically fell leading his townsmen at the Battle of Harlaw in 1411. The clan's reach extended far beyond Scotland, especially in the 18th century, as Jacobite sympathies led to the transportation of many Davidsons to the American colonies. There, three Davidson exiles settled in North Carolina, where they fiercely opposed British rule during the American Revolution. Among these was Brigadier General William Lee Davidson, a Davidson clan member who fought valiantly for American independence and was killed in action at Cowan's Ford. The Davidson chiefship, however, lay dormant for much of the 20th century after Duncan VI of Tullock passed away in 1917 without an heir. It wasn't until 1997, after a long genealogical search, that Duncan Davidson, a New Zealand descendant of the original Davidson line, was confirmed as chief. Today, Grant Guthrie Davidson, the third of Davidston, 
holds the title and serves as a living link to the clan's storied past. Based in New Zealand, Chief Grant remains an active advocate for Scottish heritage worldwide, presiding over a clan society that celebrates its rich history across the globe, from the UK to Australia and North America. Clan Davidson's motto, Sapienter si sincere, wisely if sincerely, reflects the resilience and integrity the clan has maintained through its turbulent history. Their badge, the red whortleberry, and their distinctive stag's head crest are symbols of their strength and connection to the highland wilderness. Through centuries of battles, rivalries, and explorations, the Davidson story has remained vibrant. They are more than a clan. They are a testament to highland tenacity, cultural heritage, and global Scottish influence. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Clan Davidson's legacy. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for another episode of A Clan A Day podcast. I'm Colin MacDonald and as always, go NRE and both are leet.